Noisy, fake, polluted, pandas, poverty, Kung Pao chicken. If you've never been to China, these may be some of the words that come to mind when you think about the Middle Kingdom. My name is Joshua Dominic. After living here for 20 years, I can say that you'd be surprised that there's a bit more to China today, and the country has changed a lot. China has been developing so quickly that there's something different happening every single day. And things are getting better, from infrastructure to the environment to the quality of living. In this episode of Dialogue with China, we'll look at some of these topics and what foreigners living in China and Chinese themselves think about China today.可能认为中国人的素质比较低 I think it's a little more modern than what I thought. Most Western people's view is China from 30 or 40 years ago, not modern day China. The younger generation as well as the older people, they are open to help you, they want to communicate with you more, they are smiling, they are welcoming. I think definitely the opportunities. The huge, the scale of everything in China is definitely surprising. People in the West still see China as a, in a very traditional way, um, whereas the real China is, is very modern. So after living in a place for a while, you might find out that it's not quite what you first expected. Today we're going to visit with a British musician working here in Beijing to see what he has to say. Let's go. Hey, Sean. Hey, Josh. How's it going? Wandering through the heart of Yunnan, looking for a new adventure. High up on the cloudy mountain. I'm a British singer, songwriter, musician, producer, KOL, a little bit of everything. I've been based in Beijing now for three years, but I first came to China about seven and a half years ago, just traveling around and having a look around. And also did a couple of shows as well. Um, but yeah, I decided to base myself in Beijing because I really love Chinese traditional instruments. I guess my preconceptions were tainted by the fact that before I came, I already had a lot of Chinese friends in Liverpool. I remember being very confused because what my friends were telling me about China and what I was seeing in the media was very different. Or I should say, even in the media, it was conflicting as well. You know, you have these images of futuristic looking cities and dirty rivers, heavily polluted lakes and dying wildlife and things like that and it's like one image and the other just don't match in my head and I guess I just wanted to come to China to see for myself and after I arrived it was nothing like any of what I'd thought about before because I think until you've actually experienced the place yourself you can't really have any sort of perception of it because you're always looking at someone else's perception not your own. So a lot of people ask, what's China really like? It really depends on your perspective. Um, I've been in China 20 years. I've seen a lot of change, things that have come and gone. There's something new every day, um, whether it's infrastructure like high-speed rail and subway lines, uh, whether it's cultural activities, whether it's what you can buy in the stores, or even the environment. So interculturally, uh, it is a very, very long tradition that the West would misunderstand uh, the East while the East will misunderstand uh, the West as well. It is not a simple political, economic, uh, even we say uh, a, a very uh, specific issue question. It has a long tradition. Uh, we should do something to make it not as severe as what we have now. We need to keep the doors open and also give the international community a little more time because 
China for several centuries, we are not really、uh, fully understood by by the world. So once China become big, strong, successful,、uh, we need to give the West a little more time to understand it. Like the saying goes, we should never judge a book by its cover. Open up that book. Take a deeper look. Preconceptions are normal, but we should always be open to new information. For foreigners living in China, this is a land of opportunity and innovation. It's developing so quickly and in a way all its own. We should stay open and inclusive, creating a dialogue that promotes mutual respect and understanding. We should also encourage more exchanges, cultural, academic, and educational, that help us better understand each other. That's all for this episode of Dialogue with China. See you next time. Bye bye.